Hey, what's up guys? It's Luke, and you're watching Luke the Gathering. Thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for being here, and today was day two of the Dominaria pre-releases at my local game store, Davis Cards and Games. It's a ton of fun. We actually played a format that I had never played before. I'm pretty sure it's an unofficial format, but if it's an official format, let me know. They called it Two-Headed Monster, or Two-Headed Dragon? Two-Headed Monster? I forget. I think it's Monster. But it's where you and a partner partner up, taking the turns at the same time, and you play against another pair of players. And you basically share your life total, which was 30, and you basically drew at the same time, played cards at the same time, attacked at the same time, but of course defended at the same time as well. And uh, we ended up going one and two. Um, I actually had no idea what I was getting into today, and I did not have a partner that, you know, okay, so most people came with somebody that they knew they were going to play with that wasn't me. But thankfully, there was one other person who was there, and we partnered up, and so I got to participate in this uh, tournament, which was great. Again, we went one and two, but I thought we did a really fine job, and, uh, um... Especially for not knowing each other and our playing styles or where we were at in Magic. I think it was a great time. And so thanks uh, for partnering with me. You know who you are if you're watching. Uh, that was really sweet and I had a great time. I think we both had a great time. We were saying how fun it was and what a great experience it was. So we both opened up a, a Dominaria United pre-release kit and pulled some really nice stuff. So... I'm going to share with you some of the things we pulled. I only have the things that were in my deck because I pretty much gave everything um, to my partner who I don't think plays as plays Magic as much as I do now and doesn't have as many cards as I do. I just opened up a draft booster and a collector booster box, so, you know, why don't we just pay it forward? I didn't need the bulk, I guess, mostly, that was there, so I gave it away to him, and hopefully he has a room in his collection for some of those cards. I just kept a couple that I wanted in particular that I didn't have yet and um, show you what those are. So why don't we go ahead and just turn the camera around and check out the cards that I got. Alright, check out these two beauties. We got King Darien the 48th and Ajani Sleeper Agent in the full art and then the King Darien in... The stained glass art, it looks so good. They both look really cool. And um, I wasn't in Selesnia, so I didn't use these cards. But thankfully, uh, my partner did. That He splashed for green. However, the funny thing is, and you know if you play, if you play Magic, this happens quite often. Um, Ajani came out a lot. But King Darien actually never came out in all six games. Or not six games. Three. We played three rounds. Three games that we played... King Darian never made an appearance, and he would have been a real help if he had, if he had, I think, in at least one of the matchups. So, unfortunately, we didn't get him. But I took these were the two that I said, hey, I'll, I'll take those back for sure, uh, keeping these, and then um, of course the deck that I made. And he got all the other cards, so I ended up going blue, red, blue, red. Blue red I like a lot so far, at least initially. I had three molten tributaries. I also splashed green. So we had electrostatic infantry. I think this guy is really good. I think better maybe with one-on-one uh, -on -one because when you have a cluttered board, um, it, especially when you get to part of the game that's not right at the beginning, he becomes less and less good. It's hard for him to get through and even do any kind of attacking. Deathbloom Gardener at the beginning, I had um, a little issue with mana, and so I was like, well, let me get some more mana dorks in here, because I, maybe I could get one green, but some things I needed more green mana for, and so I put Deathbloom Gardener in there. Did a decent job. Coalition Warbrute. This is another card that, you know, sometimes you just never get a cast them, and sometimes never even get them in your hand, and this was one of those. Coalition Warbrute actually never got in my hand. Timely Interference, uh, this came up only once, unfortunately, and uh, I did draw a card, but the card I drew didn't really help, so it was one of those situations where it was towards the end of the game, I really needed to top deck something that could maybe make a difference 
but turned out to be a land. The gate I put in there, I you know, this was like in and out of the deck in terms of like when I was pre-gaming and kind of planning what to do. I'd rather have the essence scatter, but you know, there are enough other spells in the format where I thought, you know, a negate could come in handy and really spoil the day. So I did get to cast it once today. Shore up another sort of cantrip card uh, for one. These are always nice. Um, gives something hexproof, and of course, at instant speed, and you can untap it, is pretty sweet. Balmor, Battle Mage, Captain, never came out. Oh, man, this is such a good card. I had it during the, my pre-release on Friday with when I was just playing single player. Um, I really wish this came out. Battle Wing Mystic, um, I was able to cast this card, did its job. Talarian Terror, um, this was really nice. Um, I, I was able to cast this a couple times. Big boy sitting on the board. G2 Amplifier, never cast. Dragon Whelp only cast once, unfortunately. And this is these are all the green I had was Colossal Growth. I just I wanted to really use these as a you know as a quick and instant spell out of nowhere to really pump my guys or get those spell payoffs because you know I just thought oh if I could get some cool combat tricks in there it could really you know change the outcome of the game and it did in especially the, the one game that we won. Uh, Colossal Growth won the game, and so I think these, I mean, it's plus four, plus four, gains trample and haste. That's a lot. A four, four is a lot of damage coming through, and that's on top of what they deal already. Got a couple of those. Academy Wall, 05, just brick sitting there, and if you do cast instants and sorceries, you can draw a card, so that's kind of sweet. Haunting Figment, this is unblockable if you have an instant or a sorcery. Kind of nice. Pixie Illusionist, this was the one flyer that I felt made the most difference in my deck because it was a 3-3 because uh, it entered the battlefield kicked. So I thought that was good. There's another Colossal Growth. Electrostatic Infantry had two of these in the deck. Unfortunately, they didn't do much. Vesuvian Dup Duplomancy, this is a card I really wanted to play, um, but... The one time I had it in my hand, I, I was mana screwed, and I just didn't have the mana to be able to play this. Otherwise, I think we would have done a whole lot better. If I had one more mana, it's only four, and I was stuck on three for a long time. Couldn't get this. Just imagine getting like copies of creatures. This is a really sweet card. Also got the Sphinx of Clear Skies. This was a kill on sight for the, for the one time I got it out. It hit the board, and then they, of course, instantly removed it. They did not want anything to do with this card whatsoever. This was the promo pack card I got. This is nice. Defiler of Instinct. 4-4, uh, four, four, first strike. And when a red permanent comes down, it deals a damage to any target. Really cool. Um, rare, Phyrexian Kavu. And, you know, most of the combat, especially in our final game was airborne because of stuff like this on the ground and my partner had a lot of walls so it's hard to get through us on the ground but in the air totally different story ended up playing another lanowar loam speaker which was nice and then we got the uh, vodalian hex catcher it didn't really come into play um at all so unfortunately this did not do much but overall it was a fun time two-headed giant never knew that this format existed and so i'm glad to play it i think we're doing it again monday i think i should be there and so let me know if you've played this before and if you've enjoyed it but i hope you're enjoying dominaria united so far as it's just come out these past few days and uh we'll see you next time